Welcome back to the channel, Zox fam. Now, we have a lot of different things we're going to be talking about in today's video. Uh, and particularly, we're going to be taking a look at some NBCC news coming from the CN side. Now, this is obviously really important because this honestly has been the baseline of how we've been able to make our decisions. And I will say so far, it's helped out immensely with being able to, you know, see some things ahead of time and then knowing how deep or, you know, whether or not you want to skip banners altogether. Right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. Definitely make sure you guys like and subscribe. I would truly appreciate that. Um, and before we get into anything, I also want to shout out uh, some of the people that I do uh, look at their pages on, um, you know, Twitter. Um, definitely uh, shout out to um, Path to Snake. This is a absolutely great page. I don't know who runs it, but this is a really good page just for those that are looking for English translations, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea of like what's happening, what's going on. So if you have Twitter, definitely go and show them some love. Um, but of course, let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, so making my life easier so I don't have to translate anything this is actually going to be the next banner that's going to be coming up after the Ati and Levi banner um, who are the current new units that came out in the game now the thing that's special about this banner is that this is actually the last mainstay or I would say uh, starting launch unit that is in the game that is getting a rotating banner or a recruit banner right now um with that crash is very very important she is super super good for broken frontline for those that don't know um and she's a sniping goddess right <laughs> but outside of that i have videos coming you know more so closer to um you know when that banner is actually going to be coming but this is going to be one of the banners that's going to be up so if you have not been able to pull her this is going to be your opportunity to have an isolated banner that's going to allow you to essentially get her right now the thing is, is that there's something special about this banner um, is that there is going to be another banner also coming along with this one. Um, and this is going to be a isolated banner. Um, and I would say our first integrated banner with only units that are being shown here on the banner that are going to be pullable, right? So Bai, Langley, Irin, and Demon are going to be the units that are going to be pullable on this banner. And that makes this that much more important because for any of you guys that are looking for a opportunity to pull for an isolated uh, number of S ranks for duping, um, this is going to be an absolutely amazing banner. So if you are spending and you are considering pulling for dupes, this is the banner that you wanna pull on. Now, I wanna tackle the dilemma of the unit, the elephant in the room here, okay? Cause I know somebody's gonna say, demons on this banner and he is one of the isolated four. So yes, you have a one in four chance of it being demon. Now, the thing is, is that <laughs> if you have not played chapter 10 yet if you haven't seen any of the end game content that's to come tanks are literally god tier okay so if you do pull him just saying he's going to be a god for you not 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 even kidding you for chapter 10 if you have not played chapter 10 yet you're like ah they're not useful maybe early in the game or what we've had thus far but when we're looking at chapter 10 my god you're gonna want to tank all right now granted you can definitely still get away with building some of your lower rarity tanks but if you're looking for what's going to ultimately be for, for for what i foresee happening is that the tanks are going to be a lot more necessary when we're talking about the overall in-game content they're going to become a lot more necessary and like i said i'm already starting to see that with the chapter 10 uh release um considering that i'm now able to actually play it with my in-game account I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> it's about that time. So I am gonna have a video coming for that because I think that that's really important. Just kind of diving a little bit deeper into why specifically um, and showing some of those stages because it does get very, very rough, right? Um, but more than that, um, I would definitely say ultimately this banner is still very very good um i mean i guess we can also mention Bai too you you know you have labyrinth in the game who's you know just as good but i would honestly say that when we're looking at that full damage build for Bai, this is absolutely an amazing banner for you right um so with that this is going to be the next um two banners that are actually going to be implemented at the same time for us to be able to draw on um so i wanted to get you guys this information just so if you had decided that you weren't going to be you know saying uh you weren't going to pull for oak casket uh and what is after oak casket if i'm not mistaken i think it's actually 
I can't remember who's after Oak Casket. I think it might be Hamal, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, Hamal is after Oak, Oak Casket. If I'm if if I'm not mistaken, definitely let me know in the comment section because I know it's one of her, her or someone else, but I'm pretty sure it's her. But um, either way, it's gonna be um, Hamal. Then following the Lunar New Year, that should be happening sometime in April, um, and that's gonna be really really huge because Duren is coming on that banner, and uh, to date she is absolutely broken just saying um so yeah that's going to be really really huge because she is the only limited unit in the game um so with these banners it is a lot of tough 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 picking you're gonna to have to do guys um but i will say that having the heads up is definitely going to allow you to be able to save and allocate your resources a lot better now with that guys like i said this means that moving on we are going to be looking forward to either rotating banners so banners of units that are obviously uh, already in the game that um have received a rate up or we're going to be seeing new units and that's just going to be kind of the rotation it looks like um i'm hoping that now uh, with all of the mainstay or launch units out of the way um we're going to start seeing some of the ones that some people might have missed coming back in rotation or even more of these integrated banners i would really like to see so that you have a better opportunity of getting things that you know you might not have on your account so you can get it more fleshed out but that's pretty much going to be that with this one guys definitely let me know what you guys are going to be doing are you going to be saving are you pulling is there a banner that you are anticipating that you have been wanting for the longest now considering that we are months behind or really like two months behind a month and a half right um but that's going to be that guys stay charged up and i'll catch you guys in the next one